name is Nicola Loring. I'm the Outreach Astronomer here at the South African Astronomical Observatory and we've travelled to Sutherland today to do um, a live feed of the close pass of the asteroid 1998 QE2. tonight is taking images using the 20 inch telescope which is one of our smaller telescopes that we have here. Um, the, the diameter of the mirror is about half a meter, 20 inches across, um, which is small for today's um, telescopes but it's perfectly adequate for what we're doing. Um, we're going to be taking Im images from the telescope and we're going to be streaming them live over the internet so for the whole world to see. We've got like a thin layer of cloud all over and there's some really thick patches so we think that we pointed sort of where we expect the asteroid to be. What Jackie's trying to do is just get this image as sharp as possible but he's, um, he's being thwarted. It's fairly cloudy tonight so we, we may be in luck and catch, catch the asteroid or we may have to um, abort for tonight and um, wait, wait till tomorrow and see what the weather's like tomorrow. And you can see there's some other faint stars around here which look kind of very blobby and almost like an expanded kind of donut and what we're going to try and do is make those smaller and smaller to get them sharp and point like and once we get to that point we know that we've got um, the telescope in focus. <laughs> seeing the asteroid. You can see it moving across the screen there. So this telescope is tracking the stars. So if it was a star, it would be stationary in the picture. You wouldn't see it moving. But because you can see it's moving across there, we know that it's not moving at the same rate as the background stars. It's much closer to us. The asteroid is much closer, so we're seeing it moving relative to the background stars. During the flyby, NASA took the opportunity to study the asteroid in much greater detail than has been possible um, to date. Um, they used uh, radar imaging from the Goldstone Observatory to make um, a 3D map of the asteroid. And one of the exciting discoveries they made during this flyby was that um, asteroid 1998 QE2 is not alone. It's actually a binary system and it has a moon. Uh, the moon is much smaller than the uh, primary asteroid, which is about just under three kilometers across. The moon is only 600 meters across, but if you look at the images that were um, published by NASA, you can clearly see the, the moon in the images um, along with the asteroid. Mm -hmm. 